Hi guys and welcome back to another video here on David's PC channel. Today I'm going to show you one main thing which is speeding up the performance of your phone by overclocking it. And we are going to do two things. We're going to install a faster kernel. We're going to install the SIA kernel as well as using an application called set CPU to overclock the CPU itself. Now before we do this, I downloaded Quadrant Standard from the App Store and I'm going to run a full benchmark. This is before we change the kernel and also before we install set CPU to overclock it. And we're going to just get a score here so we can compare the before and after. So I'll be back when that was wrong. I'll be back when the benchmark is completed. Alright, so the benchmark has finished about five times so far. I've um, let it run a couple of times. And it's ranged from about f uh, 3,800 to 4,100 points. So you can see that there is a, there's a little bit of range. It gives you a little bit of a rating compared to some other phones. So it's, it's quite up there. But of course, we're going to beat all of them once we are st uh, starting to play with the settings. So pretty much we got a solid 4,000 points down, maybe 3,900. But remember, this is a benchmark, so this is not real-world performance. So what we're going to do now is install a faster kernel. And we're going to do this in the Clockwork Mod Recovery mode. Hold volume up, power, and the home button. And I should, probably should have said this before. There's a description in the... Um, in the there's a link in the description below of where to download the file and you should drag this onto your phone well before this step that's all you need and then two applications well actually one application all right let's wait for this to autofocus all right so we're going to install a zip from SD card and we're gonna navigate here and we're going to install the kernel below the selected the SIA uh, kernel for the Galaxy S2 version 4.1.5 so just go down to that and then hit yes that will install your kernel it's quite a quick update oh okay sorry we're already done um, just hit go back and now we're actually gonna go back into recovery, mo recovery mode just to show you some of the changes Alright, so this is our new kernel, and you can already see that you have buttons in the bottom here. These are actually touch sensitive, so now your touch screen works. You can have uh, settings here. Now one great thing about this kernel is its uh, dual boot options, if you can see that. So you are actually able to install two different ROMs, so two different OS's on here, with all of the, um, with all of the great things about it, with separate apps and separate like completely different ROMs so that's really great about this kernel so we're just actually gonna reboot the device now I'll be back when it's done and we're gonna see what performance difference this made alright the phone has completed its boot and you can see nothing really changed there's not really it doesn't feel any faster or anything so I'm gonna run the benchmark again a couple of times find a good you know I guess average and I'll be back when that's done okay guys so having uh, the kernel installed you can see that we have an immediate jump of about 200 points I've run this a couple of times where you get high 4100 scores or uh, 4200 scores so there is definitely already an increase in performance an increase in the benchmark from simply uh, installing a new kernel. What we're going to do now is, I'm going to do this off camera, is install an application called Set CPU. And with that application, we're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to get the most, uh, the highest performance, the highest performance settings of that application to get the highest score you can get, or the highest score I achieved after hours of testing. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I have now installed the application Set CPU. It's available in the App Store. So just open that up, and you can see you. Um, I already allowed it to do that. Um, so set the if it asks you allow the super user access, 
Now, I've already changed the settings. This is originally at 1200 and at 200. What you want to do is set this to 1500. It does not uh, work at 1600 megahertz. That's 1.6 gigahertz. Um, I've played with the voltages and it would either crash the application with too little voltage or the phone would shut down with too high. So I've, I'm sticking to 1500. Actually set up the minimum frequency to 400 just to get a little more performance. But anything more than that I found in my testing that it actually slows down your performance and it will absolutely kill your battery life. Now under governor and uh, scheduler just leave those the same. Um, other fast ones of all of these uh, performance wise is the performance mode as well as the hot plug mode. The others have their um, you know power save modes and stuff but those are the fastest and just leave the rest at default. This will already give us faster results which we're going to benchmark in a second but I want to show you one more thing about this um, application which is profiles so you're able uh, you're able to set profiles for different situations so you could for example set a new profile turn the profile on when let's say um, if the battery level is um, more than let's just go for like 60 percent you can set a certain CPU speed, you can set different settings, uh, you can set um, the priority. So, um, you would do that in the next here. You can set the priority from 1 to 100, so you can technically have 100 different profiles. So, you can actually customize your phone to run at different speeds to conserve battery life once you're running low. I'm actually going to go back and exit this and turn off profiles just because it's not needed and now we're going to run the quadrant benchmark again and I'll be back with the result. Alright guys so I've finished this benchmark and you can see we have received a whooping 5100 points and this is actually not the highest I've got I've gotten 5200 and something points I've actually taken a screenshot of that so let's quickly go to C I have received 5,217 points as a maximum. The other score was 5,213. Um, so yeah, pretty much this is as good as it gets with this phone. And this already concludes this little uh, tip tutorial. Pretty much it's worth it. If you want to get the most speed out of your phone, it'll speed up games mostly and make it just a little bit snippier, you know, when you're opening uh, your applications bar, when you're uh, going around from from home screen to home screen, and it's going to make a difference. But remember that increasing your processor speeds by um, overclocking with set CPU will potentially decrease your battery life. So, you know, keep that in mind. Of course, with this application, you can also down clock it make it less than the 1200 uh, default maybe uh, a thousand uh, megahertz or even less than that if you are conserving battery life and you don't need the most speed you can also use it for that and this will actually dramatically increase your battery life well as long as you also make sure your display is not set to full brightness so that concludes this little tutorial Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more um, videos on the Samsung Galaxy S2 and ROMs, Roots and other great features. Thanks for watching. Take care.